In this video, we're going to configure umbrella integration with SecureX. To start out, I'm going to find the umbrella module in the left hand pane and click the Add button. In order to integrate umbrella, there's several API keys we're going to have to grab out of the umbrella console. Let's go ahead and swing over to my umbrella instance, and I'll start with the investigate API by navigating to investigate and then investigate API on the left hand pane. I'll click the Create New Token link, and I'm going to name this token SecureX. After creating it, I'll just copy the access token right out of here. Going back to SecureX, I'll paste it here, and next I'm going to get the Enforcement Umbrella URL. Let's go back to Umbrella, and navigate to Policies, Integrations, and then click Add. Well, that reminds me, one thing I wanted to point out really quickly is that if I open Cisco Threat Response, my Umbrella instance is currently not integrated over there, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and enable my SecureX integration, and then copy, copy my enforcement URL. Going back to SecureX, I'll paste the Umbrella integration URL right in. And the next thing I need to do is grab the reporting API. To do so, I have to go back to Umbrella, navigate to admin, and then to API keys. Now I'll click create, and I'm going to create an umbrella reporting API key. After I click create to create it, we'll copy the key in the secret right out of here, and then paste it into my SecureX umbrella module. For the requested time frame, I could keep it at the default of 30 days or add more. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and put 90, and I'll copy my organization ID in there as well. After completing this, I'll click Save, and the module has now been added to SecureX, and I can see it enabled here. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Actually, let's launch Cisco Threat Response and look at the active modules in it. As we can see, the Umbrella module was automatically acted, added to Cisco Threat Response when we added it to SecureX. Now back in SecureX, I'm going to click the New Dashboard button, and I'm going to name this Umbrella. I'll add all the Umbrella tiles to this dashboard, and I'll go ahead and resize these to make the dashboard look a little more attractive. Ignore that my dashboard is lacking information at the moment. I'm in the process of redeploying my lab, and it's lacking quite a bit right now as far as information. If I swing back to my Umbrella instance, you can see nothing being really reported there as well. And that brings us to the end of our initial configuration of Umbrella integration with SecureX. Thank you for tuning in.